Du ska få noe sted, Jan. Skal jeg løpe? Det er når jeg tatt meg opp på hytta for at du skal slappe av, så må jeg kjøre deg ned 800 meter for at du skal løpe. Jeg heter gjerne en dum idé. Lykke til da. Takk, trenger jeg. Thank you, guys. Jeg skal ta bilder her. Nei, nei, nei. Cheerio. Welcome to new video, guys. I'm here in the holiday place to all the Hansen families. Family. They have now drove me down from the cabin, down to Nesbyen. I'm gonna run back to the cabin now. It's 16 kilometers and almost a thousand meters uphill. Holy shit. <coughs> it's only uphills. Holy shit. Past five kilometers. Now I think actually I get there's 11 to go. Seven of those gonna be really uphill. It's gonna be hard. I guess you guys don't see how much up it, up it is that way. What if we do like this then? I think this is a straight line. Going from far, far down there. I am over halfway. Ah. Come here now. Not going fast. Sånn glepper, så har vi liksom... Ja, vi har snow grip på, sånn vi får hjelpe på med grep opp over her. Nå er det litt sånn grus i bakken her, så det hjelper jo. Nå begynner jeg å bli litt imponert. Jeg er ellers skremt. Hvor er han? Hvor er du? Jeg tror han ligger og spyr et eller annet sted. Er det tatt feil vei? og ned igjen, og så opp igjen. Det er ikke mulig. Så har du løpt to fjellet. Jeg er bare flata av innover nå. Det må ha skjedd da. Det kan ikke være mulig. På den tiden. Rundt svingen her, bør vi se. Nei. Nei, det har skjedd nå. Det må ha skjedd nå. Det må ha skjedd nå. Det er ikke mulig. Det er faktisk stort. Vi må snu og kjøre tilbake igjen. Det skal ikke være mulig. Jeg må bare svinge med noen greier. Her har jeg vært da. Bruker vi å gå rett fram her, mot den, og ikke stoppe før fjellet. Ikke stoppe akkurat før fjellet. Nok en bil. Det var... Der er det! Der er det mulig! Der så vi snutten av den. Nå er... Det skal ikke være mulig. Det er ikke. Det er han! Han lever! Se, der er han. Vi har jo til en sight. Faen, er vi imponert, Persen? Skal du ha litt forslistninger? Jeg prøvde å ringe deg for å si du kan begynne å preppe skia. Jeg er snart oppe. Da er jeg ny energi. Vi begynte å filme for lenge. Vi har filmet i ni minutter, da trodde vi skulle finne det. Kom på å kjøre nærmere igjen, ja. Ja, sånn da? Nei. Det er god for trekk ut her. Kjør på! Gale mann. Det er mulig. Nei? Det begynner å bli tungt. Hvordan er gripen? Jeg skal jo ha... Faen, Hansen, the grip is bad, ass. Snowy and ice and stuff. 
This is pretty fit. This is gonna help. Oh, this Joseph, is good. come on. Give me grip. That's grip on box. Grip on box, guys. Norwegian patent. It's very, very important to have when you have icy roads. Come on, Joseph. Ah, perfect. Oh, oh my god, no, on, it's going to be great. On. No, no, you guys can look at this bit. Yes, look, look at him go. You guys can have problem to follow. Oh shit, look at that. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> it's around only 1k left. Ah, come on. That's the cabin. I made it. Ren is long time gone. Done. Hello, hello, camera. Um, the run ended on 50 kilometers. Just underneath 1,000 meter uphill from where I started. I know I just took a little bit deep and now we go a trip on the skis. <laughs> ready, Hanson? Not ready. <laughs> How many times have you been going on skis in your life? Two times already. <laughs> that means you're actually worse than me. I didn't think that was possible actually. <laughs> yeah, it is. Camilla is my pulse. Is soon ready? I like them. What do you think about the fire, Camilla? Are you... It's a little bit smoky. <laughs> yeah. I would say the same. What is this noise? What is happening? Oh, it's just Stian going fishing. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if you know this. <laughs> Today is a Sunday. We are going home later on. But before that, I just went for a short, easy run in these beautiful conditions. Eh? Norway is beautiful. That's that's for sure. We are just waiting for Camilla there. Camilla, Camilla. It's sadly time to leave. Thanks for this time. We are going home with a pretty full car now. What's the matter, Anders? Do you have a Red Bull or No, we drank them all <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Anders is crazy with me because I drank all the Red Bulls he had. So this morning he was so angry because he was looking forward to take a Red Bull. Now I'm really looking forward to go to the station to buy more. It's <laughs> the only thing you speak about, go to the station to buy Red Bull. There you go, Hansen. I'm actually bringing my caddy now home. Been here at Hansen's work. For half a year or something because I have some problems with it. Yeah, I'm white. My face is white. I've been sanding down the first layer of sparkle I put on a few days ago. So later on today I'm gonna put the second layer of sparkle. My window has arrived. This is a black edition as you guys can see. Everything completely black. I think it's gonna be actually really nice. And there is the window done, mounted in with foam and everything. I need some roof panel for my bathroom. Here's how I gotta get it. And I'm taking it from here. This is my father's workshop. This is going down. And that old roof panel is going up here. Then was this wall gypsed. Now I'm gonna drill out here because I made this one before I put on the gyps where the hole for the electricity should be. This is almost 100% but good enough. All the hips is up here now, also this one. So now it's a time to put uh, a layer of sparkle inside here. A second layer of sparkle is also on here in the entrance. First litex plates is also in place. We not dead, Grunendal. Picking up parts. Let's see if this. Whoopsie! I tried to say, let's see if this one is fitting. Huh? It's perfect, actually. Yeah. <laughs> After lunch, I arrived back here to work. I never left the car. I've been sleeping one and a half hour. And I have actually no reason to do it. I've been sleeping a lot lately. Saturday, guys! 
Jonis here helping me. Niklas is in quarantine. Jonis cleaning my floor. That's because you just made that plate. We're gonna have one more plate on top because on this wall we're gonna have the water case for all the water. I'm working on this wall now. I'm gonna mount those for the water, for the mixing battery, for the shower. Yeah, and I did a little bit piping here, plumbing this morning, but I'm missing one piece so I cannot finish it. So here we're gonna have warm and cold water. Taking fresh air, Jon. <laughs> we have put on some pop and lecter here now also. It's a new day. <clears throat> and now, I think I'm gonna make something here down in the shower. I'm gonna make a winkle here from there, like that. I'm gonna go straight up this floor. We're gonna do it against this one. And so this is gonna be high different from where the shower is from and the rest of the floor. If you understand. Hey, look at this. You will be in here yesterday now. Make the cable perfect also on this one. <laughs> That's you. I love that you. Jon is always pushing 100% and doing the, your job perfect. Something like this, it's gonna be. I'm gonna weld this corner together after I sand it a little bit and get a nice structure on it. So this is gonna be the drop from the normal floor, like I said, to the shower, so the water is not going out. You know? Look here now. Ah, rødlegge service, Paulsen. Sunday og greit, det er veldig expensive for meg. It's uh, half past ten, so it's absolutely not early. <laughs> so the reason why I'm dragging Paul Christian out here on a Sunday is to help me connect those. I could probably manage itself, but I don't want to have any water leakage. What do you say? Water leakage? <laughs> In the wall. <laughs> Huge thanks to Paul Christian. Now I can uh, mount the gips plate here also. Before installation, now I put this clam on the pipe so it's a little bit more tightened. That's important, I think. Insulation is up. Actually, you don't need insulation on this wall. You can also do it without. But the only reason I put it is because of sound. Make it more quiet, you know, from this room to outside here. <laughs> so, as you guys have told you earlier, it's Sunday and Thomas Nielsen come by to say hello now and straight away I put it down on his knees to work. <laughs> Nobody's going past here without helping me. <laughs> this yips plate is now up and ready. I'm going away because I'm gonna drive my crafter, I forget something now, to Moss. Because I have to do something with the car there at Volkswagen and then I'm gonna go on the road with key back here. That's the plan. When I get to Moss, Moss I have two options. One short way, one long one. Pretty sure it's gonna be the short one. <laughs> I am here. Let's put on the gears. So I'm gonna start to walk now and I'm gonna decide on the way if I do the short one or the long one. Yeah, I'm gonna see how the temperature and stuff is. Mm. 20 kilometers done. I think it's 16 left or something. Only thing about me is the way that I walk. I can dance, I can sing. So, first thing we're gonna do here now is try to polish this one because you can see this is uh, this is not looking good. I've been stealing those two from my father. I'm gonna use this one first. This is 40, I think. And then we're gonna go over with this uh, 60, this little bit finer one. I have sanded down a little bit, but I, I tried this edge. Look at this one. This one is not beautiful at all. So here I have to go with something like this, I will try to straight it a little bit more out. Edge is much better there now. This is something you can work with forever. But I think, I say this is good enough now. This is now ready to be welded. It's in 90 degrees, but the gas bottle is away. I have no energy to go off to my dad and pick it up now. So I'm gonna put sparkle on the hips plate I put on earlier and call it a day actually. I just realized I forgot to tell you about the roller ski trip. I had to use the help middle to call a friend because 
yeah, I was just too tired when it was a few kilometers left. So actually I get hurt, it hurting, it was hurting in my neck. So that's why I actually stopped. But I ended on 32 kilometers, so it was a good trip anyway. Time to test weld. I'm tired this morning, guys. Ah, I didn't put on the mask. It's not one hundred percent inside. Oh, it's hot in the corner. I sounded a little bit more, so now is it a little bit better. Now it's in place. That's where it's gonna be. I made this jig now in wood, so it's not get pushed in, and yeah, it's like a jig, a frame. So I, so it can lie against that one, so it's not moving away. I quickly would just weld on a few like this supports, so it's not going up after setting up the floor. It's like armating. This one is not ready. I'm just gonna put fugumasa underneath it, so when we straight out the floor, the liquid is not running into that area. But before I do that, I think I'm actually gonna sand down the roof and put sparkle one more time. And to sand down, I use the same machine I use when I sand down the sparkle on the cars, actually. My Milka sander with 120 paper. I'm done sanding. I also took the walls, but be careful with this when you guys gonna sand. You see, I've been sanding a little bit too much, a little bit through the layer of the pop on the hips. That's not good. This one is actually one of my really nice tools because when you sand down with the vacuum cleaner there and this machine, you don't get any problem with dust in your workshop. It's perfect for jobs like this. Then I'm gonna clean this floor properly. I actually forgot. It had been better to put sparkle in the roof before I clean the floor, but it's done. Ooh, sparkle. Then, is it time to glue a little bit? There we go, I glued all the edges here now. And this is because when you put um, concrete, the thin layer, this is like liquid almost. So now these don't have a chance to float underneath the walls and stuff, you know? So then, I need primer. I think I actually have primer for the floor. Primer for uh, floor, yeah. And I need a rulle, I think this one is the... Yeah. And this one. So, then we are far on the way. This is a type of primer you need to put on the floor before you put the Weber straightening up uh, liquid uh, concrete mass. This is important, if not the uh, new iron is not going to stick to this one. Here we go then. I use a pencil in the corners like here. It's difficult to get get all the corners with uh, the rulet. I think it's important to have this primer everywhere. Finished. Then it's gonna dry. And tomorrow I'm gonna get some straightening up liquid from Weber. And we're gonna straight up the floor. There we go. The water pipe box thingens is up. You understand what this is? Huh? Those I'm gluing on like this. And later on we're gonna cut up the height the floor is going to be. Fridge worker. Now then before I can start to mix the liquid, I have to cut all this one exactly where it should be. This here is the tails. Examples of this is the one I have in the workshop from before, just 30-30. This is 10-10. I'm thinking about going with this one on the floor again. 
and black on the walls or should i go with all these three colors randomly on the floor that could also be cool so how i'm doing this now now i put the this one like this and now it's going to be one centimeter below there then it's the laser exactly at 15 shit then i do like this i put it on that one so the laser is hitting 15 i put take the pencil i make a mark take this one off and i cut it like that yeah everyone is cut it in the right height so now i can actually start mix the liquid first of many is going down it's going down i'm working through it flatting it out now you can see this one this is the one i cut it it's also one there and it's one there it's one there and you can exactly see the top on that one so i see everyone else just just a little bit i can see them like you saw so should be straight now guys i'm at nico's place now now we're gonna see and i'm gonna help him a little bit with his basement project Sario, he got himself a ramp for the rocks oh la la It's much better than last time. Nico, I can see you already moved a few stones. <laughs> Look here now. Look here now. Wait for it. Whoops. <laughs> Holy shit. I told Nico last time I was there. Instead of I go to family sports club today and do fitness, I told him I can come and help him lift rocks. So this is what they're going to do now. So we lifted out quite a few stones, we're going to start making new ones. Look now, this, this is heavy shit. This is pretty cool. Yeah, exactly when I stopped making moves, you know, it just bam, a lot of parts was coming. Four days ago, I went my roller skis, you saw? It's not possible to do that today. I am glad I'm gonna work inside today. I had to put up this heater to dry the floor a little bit faster because it was drying slow down in the corner there. Yeah, then it's the time to mount this toilet. I have actually no idea how to do it. I've never even seen one of these before. Oof, oh my. Oh, this was a lot of stuff. Time to help Nico. Hello. Couple of hours again. Hello. Hello. I have some work for you. It's going good. <laughs> huh? Yeah. We're gonna lift out this. No problem. Made this frame here now. Where the toilet gonna be inside of? It's not Friday. I managed to cover up a little bit of this toilet now, but. Uh, here we're going to end this video. This is going to be a long one as you probably know till now. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you already didn't. Till next time, flat out like Andrea said or whatever. See you guys soon, eh?